Welcome, we're gonna do a video of this 2018 Tesla Model 3 long range all wheel drive that we have for sale. We recently took this one on trade. This one has some extra goodies on it. It's a little bit of an older uh, version of the Model 3. It's a little bit of an older Tesla, but um, it's still, you know, by today's standards, it is still a lot more advanced than a lot of other vehicles. Um, and this thing has some nice extras. A customer added like some uh, fake carbon fiber accents and stuff like that, uh, nice, uh, aftermarket wheel covers that kind of look like the Model 3 performance wheels. But the real goodies on this one is a software. This has a full self-driving capability, which right now is a $12,000 software upgrade on a new Tesla, or if you don't have one, it's $12,000, or I think they charge $200 a month to subscribe to it where you never own it. Uh, so yeah, so it, full self-driving is, uh, I guess, a little deceiving because uh, it is full self-driving to a degree they the car can drive itself uh, to a pretty high level, but it's not perfect. It does get confused and tripped up, so they do require to keep your hand in the wheel and pay attention to intervene in case the vehicle does get confused. I have a 2019 Model 3 with full self-driving capability. I've had that for going on two years. I've been using the full self-driving for about a year and a half. I use it like 95% of the time I'm driving. I love it, it's great, uh, but you know, it's not perfect, but it's getting there. In fact, we are waiting on a big upgrade, uh, FSD 12. Um, so supposedly, uh, I'm still waiting, but hopefully in the next month, maybe sooner, uh, all the uh, FSD equipped Teslas are gonna get an upgrade to FSD 12, which is a huge change in the way they do FSD. They basically rewrote the whole code. So on the previous versions of uh, full self-driving, everything had to be coded in. So they have the coders to tell you have to code in, type in, you have to write the code, okay, if you do a stop sign, you go to a four-way stop and you get there a second, you do this. If there's a bicyclist in the road, you do this. If there's an emergency vehicle driving down the road, you do this. So if you kind of think about it, it's kind of hard to think about all the millions, <laughs> if not more, potential driving scenarios that can happen on the road uh, and kind of code for it. So you kind of have to predict what are all the possible scenarios in the future that could happen while this car is full self-driving and you have to write code to tell the car what to do? Well, Tesla has changed its approach. With FSD 12, it's completely end-to-end -end AI. So instead of writing code for each individual thing, they kind of deleted, <laughs> they got rid of the 300 plus thousand lines of codes for the old FSD. Um, and it did work pretty good with the, uh, with the you know, the coding. But with FSD 12, uh, it's completely end-to-end -end AI. So Tesla uh, has had FSD a fleet for a long time. There's 400,000 uh, cars out there in the world operating an FSD, and Tesla is anonymous, anonymous, anonymously collecting all that data and using it to improve the software. So Tesla has, I think, more than more than millions. I think it's now billions of miles of full self-driving data. So they have more full self-driving data than anybody else. So they use all that data to improve the the software. So basically with the AI, they just play videos uh, to the AI. The AI, watch, AI watches videos of people driving and that's how it learns to drive. It doesn't, you know, you don't tell, that this is a stop sign, this is a bike, bicyclist, you do that. It just watches videos of driving and it learns to drive by watching videos and it basically writes its own code. And that seems to be working much, 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 much better. Uh, Elon in December, he did a video, uh, basically the first you know uh, demonstration of FSD 12. Now they're kind of slowly uh, rolling it out to uh, some, uh, you know, they, they started off with the internal fleet, the Tesla employees that have FSD cars. Now they're slowly rolling it out to customers. Uh, I don't have it yet, a lot of people don't have it, but there are some people who got it early. Uh, check out this channel, a great channel, uh, Whole Mars Catalog, he's a popular uh, Tesla um, Tesla influencer, popular on Twitter. We also has a YouTube uh, page where he drives around San Francisco and California in his uh, newly recently updated FSD 12 uh, Model S. And he has unedited videos of this thing driving around San Francisco at night, you know, in the city streets and it's working almost flawlessly. Uh, so it looks like, you know, Tesla is making a big leap as far as full self-driving goes. 
So it looks like Tesla is making a big leap as far as full self-driving goes and it's looking ever ever closer to actually reaching what we would call I guess level 4 autonomy where the car could you know potentially drive on its own without human supervision or you could be taking a nap and the car can drive without you supervising maybe if you had a couple you know too many drinks you can be sitting in the back seat <laughs> and the car can drive you home without worries of a DUI maybe the car could uh, be a robo taxi so while you're at work or at home and the car is normally just sitting there it could be out there making money offsetting the cost of vehicle ownership uh, being a robo taxi for you these are not guaranteed things but these are things that are all possible in the future and they're looking that much more possible with this new FSD 12 don't take my word for it do some research check it out yourself I think you'll be very impressed and another thing to talk about and this is something that's not guaranteed it's not I don't know if Tesla is gonna offer this in the future they are currently uh, currently offering this now as of uh, you know January uh, February 2024 so obviously this is an older Tesla it's a 2018 69,000 miles and you may be wondering well maybe I'm buying this full self-driving equipped Tesla but maybe you know by the time you know this uh, full self-driving does come out and it's actually real full self-driving maybe my Tesla is a little bit too old for, for you know I want something newer well uh, Tesla every once in a while when they want to sell more vehicles if they have a little bit of a buildup in inventory they have limited time promotion so right now they have a limited time promotion where you can currently own a full self-driving equipped Tesla and you can buy a new Tesla and you can transfer that full self-driving from your old Tesla to your new Tesla you don't need to trade it in you can keep your old Tesla and buy a new Tesla and you can transfer your full self-driving from your current Tesla and put it on your new you can't have it on both but you can so maybe this you know Tesla is getting a little bit older you get a new Tesla of you know hardware 4 versus full self-driving hardware 3 um, you know newer technology maybe a bigger Model S or X that's all possible I don't know the exact details um, but it looks like uh, you know this one would qualify if you bought it and you owned it and you know a week later you decided to buy a brand new uh, qualifying Tesla you could potentially tr you know transfer your full self-driving there might be some fine print there might be some further details uh, but that looks like the case right now so that's one uh, you know nice perk uh, the full self-driving capability which is twelve thousand dollars another software upgrade this one has is the acceleration boost upgrade so normally it's about zero to sixty a little under five seconds the acceleration boost upgrade is a two thousand dollar in-app purchase you get a software update and boom your car your tesla is unleashing more horsepower i think it actually uh, unleashes another 100 horsepower uh so it's, it's probably the equivalent of about 450 horsepower 400 450 horsepower and zero to 60 3.7 seconds that's like uh, almost supercar territory your zero to 60 3.7 seconds is faster there than most other vehicles on the road uh pretty impressive stuff we can see the majority of the functionality is in the screen and with Tesla's over their updates to keep things relevant they're adding things like this car was out for years without blind spot cameras it got an update and now it has blind spot cameras um, you know we have uh, they're adding you know things to the theater package like Hulu TikTok Disney Plus they're adding video games they're adding things to the toy box so uh, even though there's not a lot of hard buttons, the majority of the functionality is in the screen. It's infinitely reconfigurable, so it keeps the vehicle relevant. So even though this is a 2018 Tesla, the display and the functionality still looks almost the same as a 2024 Tesla. Obviously, they might have faster processors, maybe a little bit of a higher resolution screen. But you know, I, I drive 2022 to 2023 Model 3s and Ys all the time, and I have a hard time telling the difference. I'm sure there is a difference, but it's negligible. At least in my opinion you know from these older model threes to the the newer ones so you have lots of voice commands too you can put on the wipers you can adjust the heated seats climate control settings there's 150 different voice commands you can do as well so you don't always have to swipe through the screens and menus and stuff you can do a lot of things uh just through voice commands man so much to talk about i could probably literally talk an hour about this car <laughs> If you want to uh, see lots of videos, you can visit our YouTube page, Infinity of Tacoma 1, where I have uh, dozens, if not more, maybe hundreds <laughs> at this point of uh, videos on our Tesla products. 
So we have a front here. Uh, there's no engine, so you have more space. Uh, the Tesla Model 3 is one of the safest vehicles. Uh, when the NHTSA tested the Model 3, when they first tested it, it was uh, the safest vehicle they ever tested, the lowest probability of injury out of any other vehicle they tested. So not only is it fast and technologically advanced with the full self-driving and the screen and all that amazing software, it's also very, very safe. And the full self-driving also makes it safe. Uh, even though it's not perfect, when you're operating on full self-driving or just regular autopilot, uh, the chances of getting in an accident are far lower than a human driver. Uh, so yeah, it's just a whole another safety net to you know watch your back. You watch the car's back and the car watches your back. Lots of space in here and even more space into there. The Model 3 is a beautiful compact uh, sport luxury sedan. Uh, 0 to 63.7 seconds. It's very efficient. You're going to save money on gas and maintenance. Uh, you know, versus having a gas car. You know, electricity is far cheaper than buying gas, and there's a lot less maintenance to do. You know, brakes last well over 100,000 miles. There's no big 90k services. No timing belts. No timing chains. No spark plugs. No, uh, you know, changing the the cool. No changing the coolant. <laughs> no coolant flushes. Uh, no expensive services like we see on ICE cars, internal, com internal combustion engine cars. So yeah. Uh, well, thanks so much for taking the time today to watch this video. Hopefully see you soon and have a wonderful day.